What's the Remind Day Sir Eclipse? And today we doing uh, another mod review. Uh, this time it's gonna be I mean not even I mean I don't know what you really call them, but it's uh on the Discord server for Castle Miner Z Mining's <laughs> name's Bro Moments. So I don't know. I mean he's in the chat here with me. Yeah. He's one of the modders of Castle Miner Z. We're gonna be doing a review of his mod here today. I'm not really sure what name uh, you want the uh, viewers to call you, but uh, you can uh, talk yeah, here. is okay. Zanara, okay. So, yeah. so, do you, so you want to explain what this mod uh, implements and all that kind of stuff here, or like just what the basic idea of it yeah. is? So uh, the basic idea of the mod, right now it's in beta, so I've just been doing a, a few patches here and there and a few items adding in. But uh, some of the future plans for the mod is to like completely kind of overhaul the game and give it a kind of a different feel that the uh, I don't think the developers really captured well enough in a survival game like this. Mm -hmm. And I mean, uh, what is it? I mean, like you've almost been like updating this game. I mean, like you know, every one or two days, you know, it's been pretty uh, good. Yeah. I mean, this mod literally just yeah. came out, you know, and hurry on the sixth version of it. I mean, you got, like, so many new items. I mean, like, look at this, bro. Like, you never seen Cast Miner Z this crazy, you know. And you, I mean, already, you know, in the, you know, starting menu here, you already got two new d weapons here. Yeah. Two new, d so, uh, yeah. So these are uh, creative exclusive. Uh, I changed the, uh, what you spawn in with on creative so you don't get all those plucky weapons that suck and you end up having to drop on the ground. So this... This uh, creative mining device just mines everything instantly. Okay, so, and, uh, so we're just going to destroy your beautiful platform you created yeah. for the yeah. video. <laughs> okay, fair enough. And the, right. the shooting device, I uh, it just kills, it does like I think a thousand damage. It, it oh, a thousand damage? Yeah, okay, so it's like a BFG, yeah. eh? You know. And it's like a minigun, too. Exactly. You just made this gun like they're like the BFG and you know, Doom, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. You know? <laughs> one shot destroy a cyber dragon, game. I know that. So. Yeah. All right, well, and you know, we can test it out here. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, just fly to the end. So I noticed when I was flying here too, my uh, stamina goes down really, really, really slow. Oh yeah, I uh, so I changed the way sprinting works. It, the sprinting is a, uh, a I think slower, 50 right? Fifty percent slower, fifty percent slower, but it lasts a crap ton longer. And yeah, then the uh, regen rate for it is a little bit slower too. Oh yeah, I can tell that. Uh, is there any difference with the health bar or like what? Uh, it's it re for for now it regens slightly slower like very very mm. uh, little difference but in the future I plan on adding a hunger system and you'll only be able to heal to a certain uh, like fifty percent health probably but if you don't have any food okay uh, so you've removed double jump you're, that was your almost newest feature here yeah. Uh, I don't know what the point of these wood things are, but okay. Oh, the you'll it's see just, it's uh, for the things in the. Uh, okay, all right. So all the other enough, things okay. we got. Um, so uh, which one? So I'm assuming all this stuff inside this chest here is uh, all of our uh, special items here we got, right? Yeah. So this this chest right okay. here has the uh, laser LMG. I right, thank Bartley for Bartley's So our here is some. Uh, with this one. Yeah. So uh, first off, we're gonna go with all our two features here, which you guys might see here right next to the ammo slider. Uh, there's the select fire, which is used by using the X uh, thing, so you can do single fire, which is not, this is not the way out of normal LMG suits, right? Or you can do auto. So you single, right? You know, I tricked the person the same time, just go. Just like that. And uh, that's that. So let's, uh, let's see how this works on the zombie here, right? So look, we got a lucky victim there. Instantly dead. Is it, uh, laser LMG is pretty good. Also, yeah, does not seem like my ammo fire. goes down. What'd you say? My ammo does not go down in creative mode, it seems like, right? Oh, uh, yeah, no. Okay, then fair enough. I kind of like how you uh, made this platform a little more higher because, uh... <laughs> yeah, so they didn't that would have been... Yeah, exactly. Alright, so what feature are we going over here next? Only. Oh, that select fire mode, it, it uh, appears on all automatic weapons. Okay. And it doesn't appear on any weapons. Like rifles or pistol. Alright, so which so, chest are we going over here next? I changed, I added these two, these two uh, weapons, the FAMAS and the uh, revolver are both work in progress. Yeah. Currently, so we got a blood signal revolver, of course, to... you know, of course the best one. <laughs> oh yeah. It's basically thing instantly uh, kills them, right? And it's like, uh... Bloodstone revolver does 50% uh, uh, more damage than a pistol. Alright, so we're gonna grab something, I mean, we'll refer to it. So check out, check out that, like, reloading animation. I mean, like, if you actually added, like, a decent, like, you know, model for it... Woo! Yeah. Okay. Alright. I'm, okay. Personally, I mean, I checked out the revolver a little before this mod uh, started here, right? Or before we did this mod review, right? But I haven't checked out the FAMAS here yet, so we're going to check it out. Uh, okay, okay, so we're able to do burst, single, okay. 
All right, so burst Very weapons clearly, inside of Castle Miner Z boys. Check it out. Uh, we're gonna see the prototype of it basically here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's, that, I actually kind of like that actually. That's actually pretty good. Kind of shoots like a shotgun for now. Yeah. That's right though, cause I mean, you know, it's still only three shots, so you can only get that right. Where's the three shots? And then you know, and of course you can do a normal Famas uh, thing. I think a Famas also has a um, automatic, doesn't it? I mean, Black Ops One it does I, at least. I, be I believe so. Yeah. All I right. I feel like uh, I felt like it'd make it a little too uh, overpowered. For yeah. Second. All right, here we go. Let's see what the next. One. Okay, we got uh. Yeah, this is just the like... layout for ammo. The the I changed ammo a lot. Mm -hmm. So if you look in your creative menu, and the weapon crafting recipes now is uh, yeah, you have the gunpowder gun powder, thing. yeah, and the explosive which you, powder. You need charcoal and sand for. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and laser weapons all got buffed accuracy wise. They're pretty much almost laser accurate. And what do you mean so by that? Like that, that's why like... like like it's uh if you look at if you pull out a normal AR and then a mm -hmm. laser AR, the laser AR should be about fifty percent more accurate. Let's test that out here. So is the creative shooting device basically just like a uh, assault rifle, but like just uh, just like like a one shot though, basically, right? Yeah, so it it uh, it's just an. Oh AK yeah, I see. Yeah, so basically, uh, with, yeah. Uh, oh, infinite reloads purple. too. Yeah. It, it kills, yeah. And it has infinite ammo. You don't have to reload. Well, I mean, you can though. You can instantly reload too. Yeah, it's you like can. a bottomless clip almost. Reminds me of that like one uh, thing in World of War where you can change the uh, speed cola rate <laughs> to like point yeah. zero or zero yeah. point one, and so yeah. that's crazy. All right, so basically I guess laser weapons are now very accurate. Yep. See, I basically so basically where the top of my sight is, basically is where it goes. Okay, we got it. Come on. It's not really like it's laser accurate, but all right. <laughs> It's close, it's close, it's close. You know, still getting there. As I already said, this mod is in beta. Let's see, actually, let's see if, uh, create a mind device. Oh! Create a mind device cannot mine bedrock. It looks like it can, but no, it can't. Yeah, <laughs> what it, a uh, shame. It's kind of like, yeah, uh, yeah bedrock. It acts like cool it can, it acts code. like it can. I mean, we can't argue with that, you know. We really can't, you know. <laughs> Give her some respect. Alright, so what's the next chest we're going over here? So these, these two chests right here are just a quick quick addition I made to add bloodstone shovels and access right. to the yeah. game. Let's see here. Clearly a new model. I mean, yeah. probably, probably, probably just a pallet swap, I'd assume, right? Yeah. But it's just like more so damage, the, yeah. The, the shovel should be instant, and I had to delay, because the, in the uh, older right, version, we get the older version, it's, uh, <laughs> the diamond is, is usually instant, so I nerfed a lot of the shovels and the, mm. and the axes to make sure that the, oh, yeah, they were all down. The second here. Also keep in mind, guys, that each one of these things, I mean, Bartley's mod, aka True Creative, which is uh, the mod we went over last episode, last Friday, um, does not, uh, that's only creative mode, right? Each one of these things yeah. here works in survival mode, 100%. Every single thing we're talking about here, survival mode is uh, inside. I mean, now, uh, even the uh, door we went over last time as well, uh, where is it at? Uh, there we go. So now this door, if you've downloaded this mod here, is uh, able to be crafted in um, survival mode. Pretty cool. So we're just going to remove it over our creative mining device here. A uh, fancy. Yeah. Alright, so now what's the next chest we're going to over, over here? Uh, it's my uh, favorite addition so far is the uh, chainsaw. Yep, chainsaw is my favorite thing here too. Also, I noticed I had a special animation here too compared to Bartley's yep, thing. I used, now, I used the, uh, the shotgun animation to... Uh, Make it so it looks like you're holding the chainsaw. Well, it doesn't really look like I'm holding the chainsaw. It looks more like I'm somehow <laughs> yeah. carrying it over my elbow or my arm, my, uh, my, uh, yeah. I don't know what it's called, but you know, like the the part between yeah. your elbow and your uh, hands. Yeah, your and basically, yeah, you, like a, yeah. you do like a special, uh, best, best I could do until yeah. I can make a new animation. Yeah. But this, it works, this it works. Is, uh, Needs this a little bit of improvement. Instantly yeah. mine anything and has a faster swing rate. Oh, than instantly it. mines anything. Doesn't look like it's instantly mining yeah. dirt, though. Oh, oh yeah, I meant wood and uh, leaves. <laughs> okay, yeah. And <laughs> dirt, yeah. Now, sadly, yeah. uh, as compared to uh, Bartley's mod, it does not drop leaves, but that's all right, you know. Maybe in a later future yeah. out here. We definitely will be going over this mod as it gets more updated. Um, we'll go over that more towards the end of the episode here, but... All right, so next, what chest are we going after over here now? So the the last two items are just the crafting materials for the 
the uh, ammo, gunpowder, and uh, charcoal. Yeah, so you don't want to explain how gunpowder uh, replaces coal, basically? Yeah, so uh, the charcoal, you have to get charcoal from wood. So it kind of makes it so you have to have wood for any type of ammo. And you craft wood into charcoal, which then you can combine with sand to make gunpowder. And that kind of replaces the coal in the crafting recipe. That was pretty much just to make ammo a little bit harder to craft so the game lasts longer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, there's nothing in this chest. I guess it's just uh, made to... Uh... Oh, actually, that's right. That, that's over. That's where the chainsaw was. Never mind. All right, here we go. Yeah. So we're just gonna. Uh, okay. So uh, yeah, I can see. You're, okay. Yeah. I was thinking the gold created a yeah, new or a new uh, design. I was like, what? <laughs> you know, that's what it looks like. I think like. that's uh, that's about it. I think. For this. That's all the stuff. Yeah. All right. Well, I mean, the gold crate, you know, uh, has a new uh, look. It looks like, right? No, I didn't change anything about oh. the gold crate. I just put it in there when we were testing. All right. I don't really use gold crates. So I didn't really know. Yeah, but, me uh, either. I want to make it so the crates, the higher the tier, the more inventory space they have. Oh, actually, yeah, that That's makes sense. I, that would make what sense. What I want to do in the future yeah. update. So what you said you want that you wanted to explain something with this wood here, right? Oh, this was just for uh, the testing purposes. Oh, for, for the uh, chainsaw. Yep. Yeah, almost instantly broken. You know, you could destroy a whole house like this. You know, just go. <laughs> Can you yeah. imagine? Oh my god, that'd be terrible. <laughs> but that's alright. So, uh, what's the uh, chainsaw uh, equivalent of, you think? Like, the at least in your mind. Yeah, like an um, equivalent. So, like the equivalent like of an item that was in the game? Yeah. So, very it's close. pretty much just the bloodstone. It's like the bloodstone axe, but with a faster swing rate. So, if you use the bloodstone axe on some of this wood, you see mm. that there's a slight delay before you can mine the next block when the uh, the chainsaw has a very little delay before you can mine the next block. Okay. Um, is the Bloodstone Axe a new addition or no? Because I don't think I remember that. Yes. It is? The Bloodstone Axe and the Bloodstone Spade both weren't in the game. I had to add those in. Okay, well, you know, it we seems, got... It seems a little weird, but that's why I added them in, because there's a Bloodstone Pickaxe, so why wouldn't there be an axe in the spade? Yeah, that would make sense. Uh, let's see if there's anything else up in there. Um... Uh... Still got your normal uh, windows and everything. Um, I think that uh, the Merkava mod removed the uh, clear glass window, which I wasn't really yeah. happy about. But, you know, that's all right, you know. It has its uh, advantages and everything. Uh, let's see here. Um, doesn't really look like there's anything else, but this is beta uh, 6. This is only the 6 update. Yep. You know, there's so many new features here, yeah. you know, including the try wacky to, chainsaw to animation. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, do you want to explain, you know, some of the features you'll be maybe adding here into the future, maybe? Like, some ideas you uh, have here? Yeah, sure. Right, so, I've been doing some polls on Discord about the uh, types of uh, updates they want to see in the future. And what I've kind of come to the conclusion with is uh, an, a new armor system. Now, that's going to either be implemented like a traditional, like, Minecraft armor system. Or, I was playing around with the idea of, like, a uh, shields bar, kind of like, uh, like uh, those Battle Royale games. Uh, they have a shield bar. You get you make you make a shield or an armor plate. It's a one-time use, and it kind of adds to your health. Mm. Um, some other other changes. I'm planning on adding what I would call airdrops, which are kind of like a reskin a reskin loot block that will spawn only on the surface, and that will have um, different types of food in it, mainly MREs. I plan to add, and that will be the new uh, hunger system. MREs kind of makes sense in uh, Castle Miners. Yeah, isn't they? I mean, like, that's it, what I, yeah, exactly. If they were to add MREs in Minecraft, that'd be so weird. <laughs> it really would. Yeah. But in this I game, like it makes it sense. The feel more. Yeah. And if you don't have any food, the only penalties you'll get is no sprinting and no ADSing, no Oof. aim down sights. What a shame. So you won't. It won't actually kill you, but it's good to try to find some MREs mm -hmm. when you're traveling. So and then. Other things, I just want to, I plan on trying to fix all the, all the bugs that are in the game, because I think those kind of ruin the experience for people crashing because of the bugs that were never fixed by the developers. Yeah. And I want to add in some new blocks, but we haven't uh, figured out how to do that yet, so that might be far in the future. Alrighty then. Um, I think that's about it for this mod review here. Um, me and I, as I already said, you know, we'll come back to this year. Also, the modding Discord will be down in the description down below, which I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys watching this video are probably in that modding Discord. But if you're not already, link will be down in the description down below. And uh, 
Do you have like a YouTube channel or something like that, or no? Uh, no. No, you don't. All okay. I have is a new Castle Miner TikTok that we just released. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just Castle Miners D. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That's I'm trying right. to bring attention to the server. Mm hmm. Okay, well, if I'm able to figure out the link for that, I'll put that down in the description down below too. Maybe you'll have to see. Um, but anyway, guys, uh, that's gonna be it for this mod review. Um, and if you guys uh, did enjoy, you know, see me do more content like this. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe. And besides that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.